landmark ruling an American court has found patents cannot be held on human genes. The judgment overturns an earlier ruling awarding patents to researchers who discovered genes for breast and ovarian cancer. The Australian Senate is also examining this issue. For more on this, Professor Ian Olver from the Cancer Council of Australia joins us now from Canberra. Professor, good morning. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. It always seemed incredibly strange that a patent could be held on genes. Was it just an issue of the, 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 the measurement or the way of, of testing for those genes actually evolved into the patent itself? It was actually strange because uh, the genes were discoveries of what already existed in nature uh, rather than inventions, which is what usually uh, gets patented. I think there was a, a confusion about the fact that when you isolated the gene, there was something different about it, but mm. the American court has decided that's simply just not the case. And I imagine that a consequence then of, of awarding a patent over the gene would be that the testing each time... Uh, there was a cancer test that involved those genes, that the person who owned the patent would get a fair whack of money. Well, that's right. Someone could tie up that gene for up to 25 years and no one else could uh, either investigate it and some uh, new treatments are discovered by targeting these genes, as are tests for cancer. Well, in Australia, a sister company currently has the rights to that patent. So what happens here now? Well, I think um, we, we've got to see what uh, the Australian response will be. And, and one of the first uh, things that we'll hear about is the deliberations of the Senate inquiry uh, because they've been looking into this very matter. And, and certainly our submission was in line with the American decision that a company shouldn't be able to tie up a gene. Has it prevented you doing research? Well, that's the problem, really, that uh, we have no problem with someone patenting an, an invention, say a new treatment targeted at a gene. Yeah. But if you patent it too early, it blocks everyone else out from actually doing that research. Is it blocking testing for certain illnesses and cancers because there's a patent over that gene? Have, have actual patients been disadvantaged in the United States because of that? Well, that was uh, the claim, and it was a, a patient group that were one of the major players in the litigation. I think the, in Australia we saw the company that uh, licensed the patent here. They tried to enforce their rights uh, a year or so ago, and although that eventually didn't happen, it showed us that the threat was very real. All the other labs that were doing the tests were asked to stop doing it. Professor Ian Olver, good that you could join us this morning. We'll look forward to what the Senate decides. Thanks so much.